check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Service is the first stroke in every rally. Although it is a simple stroke to make, it is very important to make sure you do not commit any faults when you are making a serve. Here are all the faults in service. Number 1. Undue delay. In a service, you will move your racket head backward before you move it forward to make the stroke. Any delay, or pause in the start of the service shall be considered to be an undue delay. This simply means, after you move your racket head backward to make a service, you cannot pause for too long. This law is clearly stated in the BWF statutes, Law of Badminton Section 9.1.2. Second fault. Service too high. There is a certain maximum limit to how high can the shuttle be hit to make a serve. The limit is 1.15 meters from the surface of the court. The line judge will have a specific tool to assist them in determining the serve that has been made. This tool consists of two transparent glasses with a line in each of them that is measured exactly 1.15 meters from the surface of the court. If this type of fault occur, the line judge will call a fault and show a specific sign to indicate the service fault that has been made. The limit 1.15 was introduced in 2018. Before that, the limit was the waste of the player. The service must be done below the waist. Number 3. Fault involving player's feet. Firstly, the feet of the player must be inside of the service court without touching the line. This means, that the player cannot stand on the line. The foot also can't go beyond the line. Some part of both feet must also remain in contact with the surface of the court in a stationary position from the start of the service until the service is delivered. This means the player cannot lift any of his feet until it is not touching the court surface. However, lifting only the heel is okay. Any fault involving the server's feet will be called fault by the service judge, and the signal pointing to the feet will be shown. Number 4. Service not in one motion. Once the racket head starts to go forward, it is considered as a serve. A player cannot stop in the middle of the serve for whatever reason. If the player stop, it will be considered as a missed shot. Therefore a fault will be called. We sometimes saw this in amateur players trying to trick their friends to play a dummy shot, or simply being playful. If this happens, the line judge will show this signal. Number 5. The server's racket should initially hit the base of the shuttle. This means, the first contact of the serve cannot be the feather part of the shuttle. This fault was created because of the invention of the S service. The service was done by hitting the feather part of the shuttle first, causing the shuttle to twist and turn, making it difficult for the receiver to make a clean shot. It was invented by a legendary Malaysian badminton family, the Sedek brothers. It was where the service got its name. S. This is the signal used by line judges for this type of fault. Lastly, the alternative service law. For amateur player, who don't have the equipment to measure the 1.15 meter correctly, we can still use the alternative law, which is the old law. 
The law says that the whole shuttle should be below the server's waist during the contact point of the service. The waist here means the lowest part of our bottom rib. And the second part of the law says that the shaft and the racket head of the server's racket, at the instant of hitting the shuttle, shall be pointing in a downward direction. This means that while hitting the shuttle, the racket cannot be pointing in upward direction, or even horizontal. This is the signal used by line judges for this type of fault. Yeah, I'm not surprised it was a service fault called. Well, so was judge saying racket not pointing in a downward direction. There it is, the service faults in badminton. Now you know, make sure you don't do any fault service after this. That's it for now. Enjoy your badminton.